Hi, welcome to another video. So, I really like the GLM 4.6, and it's just a really great model for a lot of tasks. However, there are some issues that you will find when you use GLM 4.6, one of which is that it can be finicky when you ask it to debug any issue or when you ask it to do proper planning, and it can easily get deviated. One of the major reasons for this is that things like Klein, Rue, and Kilo, and even Claude Code, don't support the reasoning variant well. Technically, it is an auto-reasoner and does reasoning when it needs to. So, even if you don't have it enabled, it will still do the reasoning in the back end without showing you the traces. I don't know if this is an error from GLM, but Kilo had added support for it and showed reasoning traces. However, GLM starts to output tool calls in the reasoning traces, which messes up the whole experience and doesn't work properly. So, they had to remove that support and are now working to disable tool calls in reasoning. Even with reasoning, I think there isn't much improvement because GLM's reasoning is a bit bugged, and it can go on for quite a while. So, because I've switched to GLM, I was having these issues, and I wanted to talk about this and how I'm going about fixing it. One of the easiest fixes is to use GPT-5 Codex when dealing with this issue. I think GPT-5 Codex is a pretty good model, especially for planning and debugging. It's comparatively cheaper than Claude 4 Sonnet, while handling catching better, which in turn allows for even cheaper costs. That's what I see happening. So, what you can do is, when you're starting a new refactor, you can go ahead and set the mode in Kilo. I'm using Kilo, as GLM coding generally works a bit better for me here. Anyway, I just select the architect mode here, and then you can set the model as GPT-5 codex for architect mode, and now we can use it. Now, in architect mode, you can use GPT-5 codex to build out plans first for your refactor. So, we can ask it to work on something here, and it will build out the plan. Also, try to ask it to put the plan in a markdown file. You can talk with it to flesh out the plan a bit first. Then, you can go ahead and switch to code mode and make it apply the necessary changes. Another thing is that you can do the same with GLM 4.6 itself. You can just use GLM 4.6 with the architect mode, and it can often match the performance of GPT-5 codecs in this setup, working pretty well. So, this is mostly doable with GLM 4.6 if you're fine with going back and forth to dial in the plan. GPT-5 Codex, though, is a bit better at this. However, one place where GLM 4.5 doesn't excel as much is debugging. You can fix this by using GPT-5 to debug bigger issues. GLM can easily handle smaller issues, but for bigger ones, it often gets stuck and introduces more issues while fixing others. I've seen this happen with the newer sonnet as well, sometimes. GPT-5 Codex, however, seems to excel at debugging. It can go through the code, find even smaller issues, especially when you provide logs, and I think combining GPT-5 Codex and GLM is the best approach. So basically, to use this setup, go to Kilo, Select Debug Mode, and give it a bit of a system prompt to debug issues. I use it mostly with GPT-5 Codex, as that works the best. Also, you can set the default models for these modes by going to the Edit option. Then, you can go ahead and set the default API profile for different modes, which saves you time and reduces errors when quickly toggling between modes. So. This is pretty great. This setup allows for another thing that I've had less success with but could be useful for some of you. The orchestrator mode. What this does is that an orchestrator model runs different modes with their default config, prompts them, and gives you back the result. 
it automates everything for you, in theory. So here, you can try to keep GPT-5 codecs as the orchestrator, set the code mode to GLM, and architect mode also as GPT-5 codecs. It can then orchestrate the GLM model for you as well. This is good, but I generally prefer being a bit in control of what's happening. I like to see what code is being written. That way I can understand it as well. But for those of you who just want to give a task to an agent and come back later, this can come in handy. For my tasks, using GPT-5 Codex with GLM only raises about $20 a month in API costs, which isn't bad considering the performance improvement I see. About 20 to 30 percent, and sometimes even more for complex repositories. So, this is justifiable for me. For context, the performance here with these two models is way better than just 4.5 Sonnet. I used to have to use Sonnet in the same way as GLM because it was also bad at architecting the code correctly. If you're fine with navigating to different coding UIs, then you can also just get the Codex Chat GPT plan and use Codex through there. The limits are more than enough for my usage, and I'd say it would be for most of you as well. It's a bit slower, though. I don't know why OpenAI couldn't make their models faster, even though they have, like, Gigafactory of GPUs or something like that. I think that just dismissing something like GLM is a very ignorant behavior. Sonnet has not been worth it for me, and GLM is insanely good for the price it's offered at. Most of the tools we see, like Klein, Roo, and others, are super fine-tuned for Claude, making it seem like Sonnet might be better. But it's actually the tools that lack proper support. KiloCode is working on better support for these models, and I hope Roo and Klein do the same. Klein doesn't even have support for the GLM coding plan, which is just mind-boggling to me. I think tools are being overly engineered for Claude models, while GPT-5 Codex and GLM aren't getting enough credit for what they can really do. That's majorly about it. It's more of a talking video, but this is something I can't really demo as much. Still, I wanted to talk about it, and you can try this out on your own. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.